Are you feeling like having 10K followers on Instagram would be like, boom, I'm legit, buy my stuff, hire me? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can actually reach 10K followers on Instagram. And stay tuned for step number four, where I'm gonna share something that you can try that so few marketers are doing on Instagram, it's insane. Reaching 10K followers has worked for my client, Erica, who is a realtor in Pennsylvania. And with two clients booked in from Instagram, she made over $10,000 to her business. So let's dive into how you can get 10K followers on Instagram fast. So story time. Back in 2018, I was at an event called Funnel Hacking Live hosted by Russell Brunson. Shout out to Russell. He's helped me so much in my business. Russell is one of the top marketers in the online space today. And I watched him, I witnessed him get up in front of the crowd and he literally said, Instagram is the most important platform for you to grow today in your business. I was shell-shocked. This was the first time that I'd ever heard a marketer actually say this. Everyone was talking about messenger bots and YouTube, but Russell said Instagram is number one. Why is that? Well, Russell went on to say that Instagram is so good for your business because of Instagram stories. Instagram stories are hugely powerful. They show the behind the scenes of your business. You can tease upcoming products. And most of all, with Instagram stories, you can get the swipe up feature. Swipe up, swipe up. You see people doing this all the time. But how do you get the swipe up feature? Well, here's the catch. Instagram gives you the swipe up feature once you reach 10,000 followers. So how do you reach 10K followers? That's why we're here today. Let's dive in. Step one is start collaborating. One of my favorite things about Instagram has been the community of people that I've met through the app. I've literally traveled with Instagram friends around Bali, around Portugal. We have helped each other grow our accounts. We have done photo shoots with each other. We've given each other advice. So my first tip for you is to actually reach out to people in your niche. Now, I know you might be feeling like, um, at least they're competitors, but I would ask you to change your mindset around this. If you feel like someone's a competitor, I think that's a good sign that you should actually send them a DM and say, Hey, what's up? How's your business going for you? Because once you've developed that connection with someone in your industry and your niche, you can team up with them in really cool ways. Inside my program, Instagram boss, we talk about how you can create private groups so that you can help each other out with your posts and with your engagement. But if that sounds too complicated, you can even just start with Instagram story shout outs. So once you have your community of people in your business or in your niche, you can actually shout each other out in your stories. Now, the great thing is, is when you team up with someone who they have an audience that's similar to yours, but they offer something totally different. That's the best partnership because you're both trying to reach the same people in a non-competing way. So go ahead and search out people in your industry, send them a DM, say hi, and start collaborating. Step two is to DM your followers or your potential followers. So with step one, you've already started to build a community of influencers, but you can't forget about the people who are already following you. You can even seek out new followers, so people who aren't following you yet, and start a DM thread with them. Now, I'm not saying to pitch them. I'm not saying to send them a copy and paste message that you spam people with. No, none of that. I'm just saying find accounts of people who would be your ideal follower and send them a message. You could even just reply to their Instagram story and that will automatically create a private DM thread between the two of you. The key here is to be human. Simple, but a lot of people don't do it on Instagram. So ask them a question, send them a compliment. Use this as a way to really get to know what makes them tick and what keeps them up at night. And maybe you could even help them out. P.S. These conversations are gold for getting to know your actual target customer. So all of us are constantly learning about our target customer and who they are, what they need, how we can help them. These conversations, they have nuggets that you can actually bring back to your overall business 
so that you're offering the best services or the best product for your target customer. Step three is to level up your Instagram stories game. Now, if you've been slipping on posting on your feed, I'll forgive you. But with Instagram stories, you want to post here every single day. This is where users are most engaged. And if you're not showing up at the top of your followers feeds every single day, they're gonna forget about you really quickly. So like I mentioned, stories are a great way to share behind the scenes and sneak peeks of your business, but they really help to boost your visibility and your overall engagement. Here's a few ways you can do that. My favorite way is to actually look at your own notifications. Look at all those people who have just engaged with your account. Then take a really good close look at their profile picture. Is there a ring around it, a colored ring? That means they've just posted to their Instagram stories. So those are the people that you wanna click on over to, head on over to their profile, look at their stories and engage with them, reply to their stories. A lot of times Instagram users complain about lack of engagement, but when's the first time that you engaged first? I promise you that if you start with engaging first to other accounts, that engagement is going to come back to your own account tenfold. The other thing you can do to boost your Instagram stories engagement is to use all the features that you're given in Instagram stories. So go ahead, open up your Instagram stories app and check out all the stickers, the gifts, the question stickers, the poll options that you can use in your stories to ask your viewers to engage. This is a little secret, but Instagram's algorithm loves it, loves it when you use Instagram story features that get your followers to take some sort of action. It could be as simple as answering your poll. They literally just tap on your story, but when Instagram sees that your followers are feeling motivated to take that action, it's actually gonna show your story to more of your followers. And lastly, this is a bit of a ninja trick, but if you're handy with Canva, what I like to do is go ahead and create an Instagram story template. So you can ask for people to fill in their favorite foods or whatever, leave some spaces for people to fill in the blanks and share that template in your stories. What this allows people to do is actually save and screenshot that template so they can post it to their stories and answer your questions. But if you did your branding correctly, your handle is gonna be in that story. So now their followers are seeing you and maybe they'll use your template too. So it just kind of passes along. Step four, not a lot of people are doing this, but if reaching 10K followers is top priority for you, I recommend to set some budget aside and experiment with running Instagram ads. Ads can be hugely beneficial to get your account in front of more targeted people. And it's crazy how few businesses have even started to try running ads on Instagram. Now, Instagram ads are different than Facebook ads. You can't run campaigns to boost the number of followers on your account like you can do with a Facebook page, but that's not a big deal. You can simply boost a post in your feed and run that as an ad, or you can even run conversion ads where you can choose a landing page to lead people to. So in this case, you can literally just lead people to your Instagram profile page. You don't have to stop at just promoting your posts. You can boost your Instagram stories. You can even boost the videos in your feed, which I like to do every now and then, and the results are pretty fantastic. The best part about running Instagram ads is you don't need a lot of money to do so. You could start with five or $10 a day, and in the big picture of running a business, that's not that much money. You just need a small investment and in some creative strategy to see if those ads help you boost your followers. Do you want even more Instagram growth tactics? Like, are you ready for 10K followers like yesterday? I have a free masterclass for you. Head on over to the link right below this video. I'm gonna teach you how you can grow your followers on Instagram and boost your business, and it's all for free. If you loved this video, I would so appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified the next time I publish a video just like this. And to keep up with the day-to-day -day of my business, follow me on Instagram at Elise Dharma. I'm sharing everything that's going on in my business in real time. To ease and revenue, I'll see you in the next video. I feel like I'm a captain.
<laughs> like, ahoy. Try it again. I don't know why I keep doing that. But, but, but. Ah, thank you. Whatever.